Hello everybody, welcome to this Facebook Live. I'm a little bit excited because I'm taking on that watercolour journey with me. I um, just want to show you where we're going to be going. So these are some little hydrangeas that I've painted for you. And I've also, actually, I'm going to paint, paint them on. I'll show you them on the actual paper that I've got in the kit because this is the paper that we're going to be working on. Don't they look fabulous? they really, really good. And do you know what? Thank you, Andrew. Andrew's just said that he thinks I've got better. That's a real compliment, isn't it? Um, these are, this is the cornflower and this is our multi cornflower that you can see there. So I'm just going to talk to you about what we're going to do in this Facebook Live. So first of all, I am going to do some watercolour painting for you. I'm going to show you how to get started. And this is a great kit for beginners everywhere. And um, first of all, really remiss of me, I should say a very good warm welcome to everybody. My name's Stephanie. I've got the lovely Andrew who's in my ear. He's upstairs in our gallery. In fact, I'm just gonna turn him up a little bit. So let's turn you up. There, um, <clears throat> loud and clear now. If you've got any questions, please put them in the chat. He'll relay them to me. Any comments, love to hear from you. And um, particularly if watercolor, and this would be your first journey into painting. So particularly when you look at things like this and imagine that as a card front, it's really quite exciting. <coughs> Excuse me, so while I'm just coughing, I'm just gonna take you do a little look at this kit. So first thing that you see up there is the painting pages. Now these are not just designed for watercolours, they work perfectly with your acrylics if you're a Cadence fan. And what I love about them is that you're going to be able to use the pattern time and time and time again. They're A4 in size when you print them off. You're also, you've got a watercolour artist pad there got a pa palette paper which I am so in love with I can't tell you a set of three brushes and a magnificent set of watercolor paints now there are 51 paints in this collection and I just want to talk to you about the differences between different kinds of watercolors because there are so many varieties and brands actually on the market so First of all, we'll, we'll go through this set in, in detail, but I want to talk to you about this particular collection. So um, this is a watercolour collection. You can see here it's designed by or manufactured by a brand called Mozart. Um, they do have a website, although I don't think it's a purchasing website anymore, but there's a website with details on it. We find lots of detail on, on um, our highlight crafts. You're getting 51 colours that include the metallics and also some neons and then six accessories. When we look over the back, it actually tells you all the details of everything that we're getting. So I'm just going to open this up and let's take a little look at what is inside. So you've got your watercolour swatch. Now, it's a pretty large swatch sheet and you've created, there's a colour reference area here which is great because if you want to be able to mix your own colours, you can make little notes of what colours you've done. If I then lift up the plastic cover, and please do save this, it is super smooth on one side and textured on the other. That when you finish painting, that smooth side goes against your paints. It does fit quite snugly. It will keep the paints in place and it will stop the paints falling or mixing with each other. So really, really important that you save this. It's very, very useful. You have got a mixing palette, although I'm going to work with my palette paper. This is an option for you if you want to just use the kit itself. Inside here, you can see the colours. So we go right through white our lemon yellow we've got brilliant yellow we've got um Desira. we've also got gambogine orange brilliant red vermilion carmine cerise magenta purple deep purple violet and ultramarine we also then come into our blues so you've got blues here astral and coral wreath which were slightly different in tone but one's a little bit um bluer the other one's got a little bit more yellow in it then we've got our leaf green our peak green etc as we go through this list 
And don't forget, you're also getting your neons. Now, when you get them, the first thing that we'll do is we'll put just a little drip of water on each of them. You can spritz them if you choose to. It's up to you how you, um, how you wet them. And then once they've been wet, we'll pick up a little bit of that colour on our brush and you will make your own chart. So you'll go on to here with the appropriate space and make your own chart. Now, I'm not going to go on to this one um, because my I've actually got my own chart, but I am going to just put a little bit of that metallic on there and I'm going to let that dry and let you see what that looks like in about five minutes time. And then the other thing, I'm just going to pick up a, another set of colour and if you do want to get these on their own, they are available, but um, you're looking at £22.49 and pence for club members. That is such a good price, honestly, guys, because when we get into the rest of this kit, you're going to see what else you're getting here. So, and, um, and actually, let me just go over those prices again for you. So if you were to buy the paint kit on its own, it's going to cost $22.49. If you buy the whole kit, $29.69. So you're getting all that extra product for just a few pounds, everything you need to get started. Right, let's go through what else is in this kit because you're also getting two brushes. Now you've got a round and a flat brush. These are nylon bristles. They're nice quality and you actually have got everything that you need to be able to paint with this collection. Then you've got your water brush. And remember, for anybody who hasn't used one of these before, you open it and the thread is the reverse way to anything else that we sort of do up. It goes anti-clockwise. If you think about that, it goes that way. No, it goes clockwise, not anti-clockwise. You loosen it that way. And it's got a lovely round nib um, or set of bristles on this one. Then the bit for me that I'm even more excited about is this pencil. Now, this is just one size and it's a 0 0.7 millimeter pencil. It's mechanical. If I click it, you can see the lead will come out the bottom. We'll zoom right in and let you see that. And this is all your spare leads. To actually change the lead, all you do is you lift off the lid, take out the little um, rubber and drop the lead into the top there. Pop that rubber back and put the lid back and that is it. Um, pop that right back the right way. And that is it actually. Um, replaced so that's your pencil and then we've got our little sponge for either taking off the excess water or even um dabbing into our picture if we need it so i'm going to say a quick hello to jet hi and kath and panum thank you um and it's a pleasure to have your company everybody i'm really looking forward to this show so <clears throat> 36 classic paints, nine metallics, six neons, a mixing palette, a sponge, two brushes, water brush, mechanical pencil, and the lead refills. I'm going to pop that to one side because um, I've got my own that's already open. And I'm just going to share with you these other products. So most importantly, the patterns. So three different sizes because remember this isn't just about learning to paint it's about learning to paint different sizes different proportions so if we want to paint on a picture we'd paint larger if we want to paint on a greeting card we paint smaller then i've taken elements of the geranium and broken it out and these leaves are particularly fun to do but it's also great because they're going in different directions. It helps the bar brush working in both directions. And for those of you that have just joined us, I'm just going to share with you, this is the kind of thing that we're going to be doing. Okay, so I will be painting that for you in a few minutes. 
Then, um, the next one that I've got for you is the cornflowers. Now, these are particularly fun to do. I took just this part of the cornflower and painted it there. You can see just that little bit. And the technique that I'm going to show you actually gives you this graduated colour in one stroke. And again, if I come here, this is one load of the brush to create that stroke. One load of the brush to create each of these flower petals. And this is the pattern that you're going to need. Now, they are a download and you'll get a link with your order. Let's talk about these two. So, watercolour paper. I've got mine here already. My metallics are drying. You can just start to see the luster that we've got there. So, um, this is my watercolour pad. And it's the one that I've used for these images that we've got here. And you are actually going to get 15 of these. So, in, that means you could be creating 15 pictures from this one kit and that gets you started of course you can buy this on its own individually on highlight crafts and then my little bit of magic and if you have already got these two items in your stash let me just assure you you can never have enough so this is palette paper my goodness me it's game changing now, I'm not going to say that I don't still use my waste packaging because I'm a bit of, I'm trying to be more and more environmentally friendly. But this stuff really does make a difference. It's a pad of 35 sheets. I do need to mention it has a right and a wrong side. So when you open your pad, this is the right side. Right. I've already wet some of these. I've put little drips of paint on them. And I'm just going to pick up two colours. I'm going to pick up a little bit of red and a little bit of that purple. So I've got two, um, two colours. Hi, Donna. How, Sophie? Hi, Samantha. Teresa, Anne. Hi, Diane. Watching, keeping an eye on me. Right. Have you ever seen watercolour work like that before? Now, I'm just going to bring in a little bit more water. So you can see it's really starting to flood in the middle. And as I pull the brush through the middle and separate the water out, it starts to blend and just meet again in the centre. When you've finished, don't throw this away. Save that sheet because when that paint is dry, you can go back in and regenerate it with some water. So super, super easy to work with. The other thing that you're getting in this set is a set of three brushes. And the reason that I've put these in, and there is nothing wrong with the one that comes in the set, if you buy this paint on its own, is because of the sizes. So you've got an 18, a 16, and um, a 20. <clears throat> and they're just going to be the most used sizes, really easy to work with. And you've got everything that you need to get going so I'm going to start off and take my design and we're going to trace that design. Oh, let's just talk about these mechanical pencils a minute. You do get one in the set and so you get the 0 0.7, but I've got a set of these. Now, um, I'll just tell you a little story. So um, Andrew just said in my ear, I love you. No, he didn't. He said, I love these. <laughs> I thought, he said, I thought he said, I love you. No, he didn't. He didn't actually. He said, I he meant these. <clears throat> so everybody in the office, David, David came in this morning, back from his, his um, shows at Create and Craft, came in this morning and went, ooh, these are nice. Um, everybody's loving them. 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.7 and 0.9. So we go from a 0.3 to a 0.9. I'm just going to take the 0.3 and the 0.9 out and show you. If I want a very fine line, and I'm talking about the thickness of a single hair, I'm going to use the 0.3. If I want to go thicker, I'll use one of the sizes in between, or go up to a 0 0.9 if I want 
a wider line. And it, this is on watercolour card, so you can actually see the texture of the card in the actual line. That's how fine they are. Then I'm going to come in and use, I've got a little eraser, and you get spare erasers in this that will literally take that out completely. And it will literally take the whole thing away. Just going to turn that over and just rub that second. So you end up with a really clean card, piece of card. Right, I'm going to move that out the way and go to my transfer paper. For those of you that haven't got graphite paper, and I know lots of you have got tons of it, it's amazing stuff, it's magic. So it come, you get four sheets, they're nine by 13, so they're quite large. This is about half a sheet. And you'll notice that it's sort of shiny on one side and matte on the other. The shiny side is the one that transfers the graphite, but there's something special about it. I chose, instead of black, I've chosen grey. So check you've got grey graphite because it looks like you will have sketched this design because we're not going to be drawing it from scratch. We're not trying to do, or do that old-fashioned technique where you draw on the back and then transfer it. We're just going to work with this. So I'm going to place that onto my page. So I've got my watercolour paper and I've got my graphite paper on top. I'm then going to take my image. So the first one I'm going to work with is the geranium. And I'm going to place that, and I'm going to use the middle size over the top of the paper. Now, you then take your graphite pencil and trace over the design. Now, use this really gently. You can press quite firmly. If I press firm, it will leave me a darker black line. But this is as if I'm sketching. Now, the good thing about this is, first of all, you can rub out the graphite if you don't like it. But I actually really am getting loving that sketch look. It, it, I think it makes me feel more of an artist. The other thing about it <clears throat> that I think you'll like as well is that... You're going to take these sheets and you're going to photocopy them or scan them into your computer so that you have always got a copy. So whether you want to copy it for a class or you want to copy it because you want to share it with a friend, whatever you do, perhaps you're getting one kit and sharing it between you. That's absolutely fine with us. You know at Highlight Crafts, we're really generous with our angel policy as much as we can be. And this gives you the chance to be able to do that. So I'm checking where I've already gone. Now, a little tip for you. When I do this long stem here, I am literally only going up once. I'm not doing both sides of the stem. The same with this one here. Because it's easier for me to be accurate and to, for it to look sketched if I only have one line to follow. So using a pencil, I can see where I've been and I'm going around each of the individual petals. I'm not being overly careful. I'm just making sure that I catch the majority of them where I can. Those little bits in the middle, they're really important because that's the center of the flower. And then, you, and of course, remember, your transfer paper or graphite paper, you're going to use it again and again and again. And we've put a little link to the graphite paper in the comments. I can feel, see, I've missed a leaf there. And if you want to, you can lift this up, check it, and then see. But I'm just going to go, wow. So there it is. I've not got it too dark because I want to be able to just see it enough to be able to paint. So <clears throat> I'm now going to come into my palette and I'm going to start off and I'm going to use the greens that I've got here on my palette pad. So I'm picking up a little bit of two of the greens. So 
When I'm watercolouring, I'm picking up a little bit of it on one side and you'll notice that this watercolour is different to the last one that I had. The um, Krumarobi one is um, made with gum arabic. This one has a different carrier. So it's much more, it's, it's more like a traditional watercolour. And look at those colours. Look at how I'm going from dark right over to light. Just going to keep that colour separate on my brush. And you can actually see that the colours are separate. And then with the outside edge of the brush, so the, where that green is, I'm just going to trace the outside edge of that petal. So all I'm doing is literally tracing it. I'm not doing particular wiggles. The only wiggle is as the brush goes round and traces the design. But quite a lot of water on there, but I'm not worrying about that. I quite like it. I'm going to let that just stay as it is. I'm picking up a little bit more of the lime, so, so the green is a bit brighter just there. So I'm using the same technique as I do when I do my decorative painting, my one stroke, or what, however you'd like to call it. I'm putting the colour down like that. Now here, because I've got a little puddle of colour, I'm just going to pick some of that up. Can you see how the brush literally just it just sucks it up it's so clever and then these little bits picking up little bits of the green here and just going to put that in and then i've got another little one there so i'm still just tracing the outside edge picking a little the a little bit of the paint there so I've picked up more of that lime so it's really bright now I know a couple of you are asking if we could do the sheets as a paper version I'm absolutely sure that if you were to um, give Sean or Diane a call they would do that Diane's literally on this program as we speak so um, if I'm wrong I'm sure she'll correct me Right now, this, to get these really fine lines, look at how fine they are. So, you can see here, I'm literally, I'm on the vertical edge of the brush. All the bristles are touching the page at the same time. That's what's happening. We're keeping them all touching the brush at the same time. So, here... Just putting in these little bits that we've got. There. I've got a little smudge that I've got here. So let's see if we can lift any of that out. I've got some cleanish water. It's not as clean as I'd like. But I'm just going to use that to just wipe out that little smudge I've got. Try not to catch the... There we go, a little bit of, that's a little bit of the eraser there. So there we go, so I've got that out. Right, now I'm gonna go on to my smaller brush. I'm using the number 16. So into the water, and this is where we're going to use two of our reds. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the red and a little bit of this lovely bright orange. Look at these, and the, and the brushes that I've just been using are the ones that come in the bundle. So, both colours, they're really gorgeous. Right, on the outside. So you can see this, look at that. Absolutely stunning colour work. And I'm, and it's doing all of it for me, literally by me touching the pad. Right now, change. I'm going to turn the brush so that the darker red is to the outside this time. So I'm just going to be picking up a little bit more of that red so because I want it strong. So look at how strong I've got that red colour. And I'm just keeping it really strong and I'm following the shape of those petals. And if you, if you find that, you know, you've traced it lightly like I have, just take your image and have that next to you as a, as a reminder of where those flowers and petals are going to go. So I can see 
I've got these little ones that are in just there. I'm really liking the look of it. I seem to have got another... Uh, I've got myself an extra um, little stem there, but that won't, I won't mind that. And then back on here, keep those two colours separate. And now again, I'm just going to put in this little bit of detail there. And a lot of these petals are overlapping each other. So I'm going to put in some of them in random, sort of come out and do some of the ones that are further away first. Put these ones in. There's one there. There. It's so easy when you get both these colours on your brush at once. It, the effects are really clever. And now I've just turned my brush. So I'm coming. I've got that red. I'm just going to pick it up a little bit more so it's really intense where it overlaps. And all I'm doing each time I paint... I'm looking at the outside petal that I'm painting. I'm following that outside edge. I'm not worrying about what's happening in the middle because what's happening in the middle will work itself out. That's the beauty of the watercolour. Literally, it's working itself out as I'm doing these little petals. You can see I'm really building up the design very quickly. So a couple of important things to share. I didn't wet my paper before I started. And I want as much control over my brush as possible. And if I did wet it, what would happen is we would end up with the water literally um, picking up the paint pigment and it would be flooding wherever it went. Let me just show that to you if I do a little bit of it down here. So down here and I pick up and I put some of that paint in and I'm just going to do my own little stroke. Sorry, let me just get a bit more paint. I'll, I'll show you again. Let's make it a fair. There. Look at this. So look at what happens. It goes into like little puddles and it just all blends together and it doesn't stay... It doesn't stay looking like this. Look at how vibrant. I mean, these watercolours are stunning. Now, I've got a lot of white space in here. I'm just going to put a little, a couple more of those little tiny petals in here. There. Now I'm going to go to a different shade of red. And a little bit of yellow. So I'm just going to let you see those two colours next to each other. You can see here, I've gone a little bit different. And I'm just going to put in a couple of these in places that I've got gaps. So just little tiny bits of it. And then the final part of it is I'm literally I've rinsed off the brush. I'm touching it onto here to just dry that off going to pick up the smallest amount so you can see now this is really super runny and I'm just going to touch in little bits of colour so it's not stark white behind the design so you can see I've got these little tiny bits of colour just here hello everybody who's just joined it's a real pleasure to have your company and, of course, if you just want to buy the downloads, they're there for you to buy individually. Right, everybody, a couple more little things. So I'm going to just take my yellow, my brush here, and I'm just going to put a couple of little yellow centres in. Now, these are going to be very delicate, so you will see a little bit of them, but they are just the middles of the flowers if they bleed a little tiny bit, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to just put a few of those in there. I'm going to go back into here with a little bit of yellow on my brush. And I'm just going to pick up the greens again. So remember when I said save this palette paper because you can use this again and again. It's dried, but I came back and I got it back. And all I'm going to do now is just touch little, a few little stems 
to just get some little bits of detail onto the design. Right now, I would love to know what your favourite flowers are, but more than that, I'd love to know what you'd like to learn to paint. So how about if you were to put a comment in the comment section, we'll give, our, give away what I've painted. So here you can see, you've got that lovely detail in. I'm just going to bring a little bit of detail around the bottom here. And, you know, part of this is knowing when to stop because I am now just literally keeping going because I don't want to stop because I'm having a nice time, which probably isn't the right reason. Um, so you can see there. OK, so there's our design and that's taken us no time at all here's one i did um yesterday slightly different colors but again very very similar so you put the two of them together they're absolutely fabulous right let's do that cornflower because that is really lovely so <clears throat> we've just got i've got my cornflower i'm going to do this single one for those of you asking can you buy the sheets separately oh i need to tell you i've got a brand new set a big bundle of sheets i think there's 20 coming out on uh, Thursday night, no, Friday night on Create and Craft. So Thursday night on Create and Craft, 6 p.m. But I want to show you what you get in this one. So you're going to get three of the geraniums, the geranium leaves, which are gorgeous. And also, you've got the cornflower as well. I'm just going to do you the cornflower because this one's very easy to do and super quick. So, we've got our watercolour paper. Please get the best watercolour paper you can afford. It really does make a huge difference. Place down your graphite paper. So, remember, this is a grey one, so it looks like pencil. That's important. Take your pattern and place that over the top. And then using your pencil, so this is a um, retractable mechanical pencil, which does come in the kit, but I've got a set of three that are just phenomenal. Four, I beg your pardon, um, that Andrew's in love with. And we've got those for you on the show. And I'm just going to do this. The details are there on the screen for you. Now, what I'm doing here, you'll notice I'm going down the middle of the stem. And I'm just doing the leaves actually as a single line. So I'm not going up and changing, chasing the outside edge as well. I'm doing a single line. There's the design. So because I've got a single line, it's really easy for me to follow that green. So I'm coming back into my palette pad, and this is why I love this so much. I'm gonna tear this off and I'll keep it, keep getting it out and using it again and again. So a little bit of the yellow. So I've wet my palette with some water. Doesn't take any more than that. And then I'm going to come up the edge of the design and put the stem in. I'm then going to get the tiniest little bit more water. Just want to really get this colour strong because we're going to do a fabulous little stroke that I want to share with you. And for this one, I'm just going to come up and slide down a little bit and lift it off. On this one, I'm going to go down a little bit and lift it off. And on this one, just like that. Then we're going to come up here and we're just going to go up to that little stem there. This one, we're going to go thin there and then thicker and come up to there. And for anybody wondering why you need this set of brushes, I think that says it all. So isn't that just lovely? Now, I'm gonna go to 
Oh, what am I going to do? I'm going to use the same brush actually, a number 18. And, um, and then let's have a look at this colour because we want this a really, really lovely cobalt blue with a little bit of that. Oh, nice. Look at this. Look at this colour. This makes such a difference putting two colours on your brush at once. I am colouring. I'm shading. I'm doing all of it in one go. Picking up a tiny little bit of the purple there. Right. Right on the edge of the brush now. You're going to go press and push and press and push and press and push. Now, the first one's got quite a lot of water on it. I'm not going to worry about that. I'll get that right in a second. I'm pressing and pushing. Push, 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 push. And then a little bit more. And a little bit more. And a bit more. Look at that. How it just literally comes to life as, it, as you push it in and bring that detail in. So just going to join these in to the middle. So you can see the shading on the petals. I'm just going to take that brush down for a second and I'm going to lift this off because I wanted to show you a little exercise. So while that's drying for a moment, I want to show you this little exercise. This will convince you that this is a good way of doing watercolours, I hope. So if I was to paint a leaf, and I were to paint it green. So let's say we're going to paint a green leaf. And the leaf's going to be that kind of shape. Okay, that's our, our green leaf. If I want it lighter, the chances are that I'm going to use a little bit more water. And I can get a green leaf that looks sort of like that so that's very similar to the one that I've got just there but imagine if we could shade and highlight that in one go so instead of picking the color up the way I just did which was dipping it in and using a round brush or, or a round brush I've got a flat brush I'm going to go let's go into the same green because that's the fairest thing to do and I'm going to go into that yellow and doesn't matter that I'm mixing it because I'll show you how to clean it in a second. So there's the two colours. So a bit more of that green, a bit more of that yellow. Right, now look at this. Look at the difference. How it comes to life. Look. Look. And all of that has come from one brush load. But it looks so much more exciting when you can see that second colour, doesn't it? Right, now I mentioned about cleaning your paints off. All you do, get yourself a clean brush. So I'm just going to use a wipe to make sure mine is clean. And then I'm going to finish off this cornflower, pick a winner. Remind you of my deal, and um, and that will be it till the next time. But let's just go on to here and clean this off. So I've got a clean brush, and can you see how I'm just swiping it over over that palette until it is clean and the colours pure. That's it's as simple as that. Right, I'm going to go back into my cornflower. But to finish off the centre, so let's get a little bit of a dark colour. Oh, yes, that's perfect. Want a little bit of that yellow right on the tip of the brush. And then a little bit of that dark colour there. Let's make sure it's there. And I'm just going to come in here and I'm literally just going to put in a few of these little middles. Now I'm hoping Andrew can get really close and you can see how we've got that little bit of shading and it just brings it to life. 
So we go from this to this. Now, how would I make this into a birthday card? This is what I would do. I would be putting my happy Andrew just said to me make sure you spell it right my happy birthday following the curve of the design I'd put it amongst the, the flower. So you get that lovely effect. Right, some lucky person is going to get all of these. I'm gonna send them all to you because why, why shouldn't we? Let's send all of them. Oh, wisteria orchid. What, a fuchsia, oh, I like the idea of fuchsias. Peonies, daffodils. Yeah, I was painting those at the weekend. Magnolias, yeah. Snapdragons, they sound good. Hydrangeas and lilies, yeah. Gypsophilia, gypsum. Oh, I've not seen that. I'm mean, gonna have to have a look that one up. And pansies and gerbera. Oh, and tulips. I'm gonna go with fuchsia. We're gonna get Sylvia, if you don't mind messaging us um, your details, I'm going to send you all the pictures from today's painting class. And all I can do is say a massive thank you to everybody who's joined us. But before you go, please, please, before you go, if you want to get this set of paints on its own, it's a great deal. It's £22 and something, £22.49. Um, but... If you want the bundle, which will get you the watercolour paper, the palette paper, three more brushes, the paints and the download, it's £29.69. Um, I think that's a deal. It's been a huge pleasure. We've got so much happening here at Highlight Crafts at the moment. I can't tell you how excited we are, not only with the education and the classes that we're bringing you. We've got a new festival coming up. Please check it all out on the Highlight Crafts Academy page. Don't forget to, to like our YouTube channel. And if you're not a member of the Highlight Crafts Club, please join because you get discounts. It doesn't cost you anything. We'd love to have you as one of our members. I'll see you all on social media over the next couple of days. Um, Sylvia, thank you. And thank you to everybody who has joined us. And I'll be on Create and Craft on Thursday at six o'clock with a brand new kit, lots more painting. Oh, and by the way, the watercolour is just a little tem temporary thing before we go back onto our acrylics. So we're gonna be doing both going forward. Lots of love everybody, take care. It's been a pleasure to have your company. Thank you so much. If you want to see more from Highlight Crafts, make sure you click the like button. Subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to receive notifications of all of our future content. You can also click here to see our latest video or click here to see more videos like this one.